It is National Pasta Day as we welcome you back. The noodle is a traditional part of Italian cuisine. Now, the first reference of pasta was made in 1154 in Sicily. It is usually made from unleavened dough mixed with eggs and water, then formed into various shapes. There are hundreds of types of pasta, and it can be covered with a variety of toppings like spaghetti sauce and meatballs or butter and garlic powder. So, of course, whatever your favorite pasta is, today is an excuse to eat as much of it as you want, which is why we brought in Carol Hurst here this morning from the Old Town Spice Shop. She is stopping in with something very special for us this morning. Carol, you made a very special trip. I did. To Rome. To Rome. Tell us about this experience because you learned a special recipe. I keep saying special, but this sounds magnificent. It's spaghetti a la carbonara, which some Americans may be used to, but it is super easy and I learned it from a chef in Italy. That is so fun. How did you set this whole thing up? So we were going on vacation to Rome and we're like, how can we really get immersed into the culture mm -hmm. and the people and the food? You can go to a restaurant, you can go whatever, but we found a cooking class called convivorome.com, uh -huh. so C-O-N-V-I-V-I-O rome.com. And um, Chef Guido is a chef and, I know, oh, and a published like author this. in Rome. And we actually went to their house. They speak English. There were uh, a class with children, with adults. They taught us how to make pasta. We ate on their veranda overlooking the, the hills of Italy. Oh my I highly endorse anybody who goes to Rome, number one, go see Guido and Sally, his mark, wife. First go to yes. Rome. But um, it was our favorite day of vacation. Wow. Even seeing the Coliseum, the, the fountains, oh, all of that. everything. This the heart of it, the I'm food, serious. the pasta. Yes. And I feel like you probably actually took something away from this right. too. You a feel... lesson obviously that you can share. And I'm going to share with you and you feel like you have two new best friends that live in Italy oh, when I you leave the class. I love this. I love this. See, it's not just about eating pasta. There are actually feelings that go along with yes, this, right? Yes, the fun, yes. the warmth. I and love this. This one, he will teach you all kinds of things and he can do special menus or if you're allergic to something. Oh, that's well, All of that, but here's a super easy okay. one that he taught us. So straight from Italy on National Pasta Day, yes. none other than this recipe from Chef Guido. It Chef doesn't get Guido. much better than that. It is like so simple and fast. So really? okay. I've taken, first of all, I took some pancetta. Pancetta. Okay. I cut it up into little sticks and fried it in a little bit of olive oil ahead mm, of time. Okay. Super easy. easy yeah. If you're in a pinch, you can use bacon, but yeah. Okay. Then I um, boiled my pasta okay. in salted water, and Chef Guido taught me this tip. Trip. Tip. Tip. <laughs> go heavy on the salt in the water. Okay. This is, straight from his mouth, you want to replicate seawater. Wow. Okay. So you put a lot of salt in your water. You're going to drain most of the water off, but it'll leave some of that salt on the pasta. Okay. So I cooked my pasta, a pound of pasta, drained off the water, and it goes back in the hot pan. Okay. So hot pan, pasta, right? Super easy so far. Nothing too hard. No. Then I have four eggs mm -hmm. and two ounces of Romano pe pecorino cheese mm -hmm. that's been grated. Dump that together. Stir it all up a little, break up the eggs. We've got hot pasta in a hot pan. All I'm going to do is dump this in here and then stir, stir, stir. And what's weird is you would think that the eggs would scramble or mm -hmm. something. No, the cheese will melt oh. into the pasta and you have this thick, luscious, translucent, glaze over the pasta that's cheesy oh, and hot no, pasta and then you put some of that pancetta on top so here oh, i've got a sample for you straight oh my from chef guido wow and how easy was that the I was kids would say, love it i feel like i can actually do that yeah the kids would love it you can get them helping stirring up the pasta or cutting up things, it's oh. super easy. Carol Horst, you are wonderful, and if you want more of her magic or just to share with her, especially about this experience, you can do that at the Old Town Spice Shop on Main Street in St. Charles. Thank you so much for joining us here this Thank morning. You. Stay with us, we have more.